Man, it feels so good to be back on the mic, and today I'm presenting you with the 2023 Soup Awards. It's the second day of January, and these things were all up on my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on Instagram and you missed the public polling, whoop, better luck next year, but hit that follow button today. In this award show, we're going to be talking about things that the industry doesn't really want us doing. Like, who released the worst product of last year? What were the two in the running? Who's going to get relegated next season? Which team was the most disappointing? Which player was the most disappointing? And to keep it a little bit positive, we did have an award for the most underrated pro player. Your nominees for the most disappointing product of the 2023 season are the JT Triad Loader and the Die DLS Marker. The Triad was off to a bad start when teams, professional teams who were being paid to use it, took the loader off their gun and started using other products that actually functioned. Now, I can confirm that in the NXL, there were representatives of JT who were running in the pits of these pro teams and sticking the triad loaders back on the guns. This is like high level confirmed type shit. We also have a industry guy who works at a pro shop. He was giving me intel that the battery connections on these triad loaders were just garbage. And the one that he received doesn't even work. And he got bitched out. So there is a theme here that the industry doesn't want us talking about when their products don't work. My side of it is I want the word to get out there. I want people to avoid buying lemon products. So I'm gonna keep doing me. The name Triad is especially cursed because it shares a name with these dog shit blowback paintball markers from circa 2002 in your local Walmart. You're naming a high-end loader the same thing as a low-end paintball gun that was notorious for not working. What could go wrong? A lot did go wrong. First, it was the delays. There are teams that I've been in contact with who paid for these things a long time ago, months and months of waiting. And then they finally received their JT Triad loaders only to find out that it's not consistent at the 10 and a half balls per second NXL rate of fire. And that NXL rate of fire is quite a low bar, but the JT Triad just fails to keep up at that rate of fire. This thing is basically dead on arrival, practically canceled, and overall just a terrible choice for a loader. Enough about the Triad. What about the DLS? To start, I'm going to kick it on over to Fun Guns. He owns every single paintball gun he wants in a custom anim. leads me to believe that something is fucked. Oh, wouldn't you know it. I, as you can see, I cranked this with a pair of fucking, yep, so all these components have come loose, so we've got loosening right here. On this one, and as you saw, it broke about a trillion balls. So is that the cause of that? Button is stuck again, please hold. It's uh, still a DLS, unfortunately. Um, putting this back in the, I don't know, piece of shit pile. <laughs> Please note that the footage from Fun Guns does have the new V2 bolt kit. So that is with the correction, the factory replacement from Die. And if you guys want to finish that video, the dude takes out his G6R, which is over 10 years old. And the G6R handles the same paint perfectly. And that says a lot about paint handling in the DLS. Dai occasionally releases things that are experimental. They're next generation technology that they're pushing out sometimes a little too soon. Just like the case with the Dai NT line. It looked good, it felt good, but it was just horribly unreliable. The NT wasn't really ready to come out. But I can't say that about the DLS because the DLS technology from Lurker Paintball has been 
worked on for years and years. And what's so disappointing about this gun, personally to me, is that this represents Lurker's legacy. He was an OG PBN moderator. He made the Eigen Ram. I think I said that right. And he's just an OG tech. He's great. And Lurker got paid for this design. The DLS did come to market with the technology, but the paint handling is just ass. And what ended up happening was the resale value. So what these guns sell for on the used market has taken a dramatic shit. And that sucks. It all stems from the bolt speed being too fast. So what you're seeing in that video, those are actually chops. Balls are getting broken in the breech and they're getting blasted in the barrel. That shit's wild. There's a quality control issue where the bolt sits in an improper position because of the QC milling errors with the body. So that means the bolt is just slapping the paintball with full stage two cycle speed. But even if the DLS was machined properly, it's still too fast of a cycle speed. And that's kind of like the machine vapor. So Dai has come out with a marker that has the paint handling of the machine vapor. Yikes. This one was way too close for me to make my own determination. So I decided to put it to Instagram and have everybody vote on it. With over a thousand people voting, the winner of the most disappointing product of the 2023 season is the JT Triad Loader. This was a very slim margin of victory for the DLS. And to be completely honest with you guys, I vote in my own polls too, and I voted for the DLS. It's a marker compared to a loader. I don't really think anybody expected the JT Triad to be any good because Core has yet to produce a decent loader since the Prophecy Z2. But to continue on with the story of the Triad being so bad, the Triad's failure is the reason why we're seeing these big goofy Halo Bs in 2023. 2023 saw the return of the Halo B to the pro field. That Halo B loader came out in 2001 and we still see it today because the triad just didn't work. You're not going to hand that to your team and say, go lose and promote this product. So I hope you guys are kind of seeing some of the smoke and mirrors in play here. Thank you guys for rocking with me this far into the video. I always appreciate it when you stick around into the end. Drop a comment if you agree with the results of the poll. Would you vote for the JT Triad or the Die DLS as the most disappointing product of the 2023 season? We're going to end this video with the most impressive product of the 2023 season. This is the polar opposite of disappointing, and these are gonna be handpicked by me because not a whole lot is impressing me nowadays, but there are a few products that I do wanna shout out, things that I felt were done right and reached their full potential. These are things that if I actually had money, I would buy. I'm gonna give the runner up here to the infamous CS3. This remedies everything wrong with the stock body CS3 that's just boring to look at. It doesn't look like a flagship gun. Infamous transforms something boring into something beautiful. The milling on the skull with those diamond-like cuts, the milling that crosses over the top of the body. This thing is just so gorgeous, you can stare at it for hours. People wanna slander my name saying that I have some anti-eclipse agenda. That's simply not true, because here we are giving the 2023 most impressive new product to the Planet Eclipse 180R. Now, the reason the 180 beats out the infamous gun is because it punches so much above its weight. This gun is priced $700 lower than the CS3 and gives you 95% of the performance. So not only that, this thing has better style. So the milling lines, there's more attention to detail in the milling on the quote unquote mid end gun versus the flagship gun. So the 180R looks better and it's just milled to a higher quality standard. The gun looks great. When you take a look at the bolts, you're gonna notice that these markers are about 90% the same. The CS3 has a bit more volume, but that makes the body of that marker just longer. So the 180 is smaller, it's more compact, it shoots exactly the same. You're getting all those high-end accoutrements that you're gonna get with the CS3 for 700 less. 
you're getting that S63 barrel, you're getting the OP core, it's all there and it's cheaper and it's smaller and it's better looking. We are gonna have to split this episode into two parts. This is the first part where we deal with the equipment of the 2023 season. The next episode, we are gonna be going into the teams and players. So those items were already voted on in a public ballot on my Instagram story. We're gonna present those odds, we're gonna talk about it, We're going to see who's going to get relegated next season. We're going to see who's the most disappointing player. All those things in the next episode. I I hate doing this, but if you're at the end of this video and you're listening to this part, I want to let you guys know that I was fired from my industry job about two weeks ago. No warning, no disciplinary history. Just get out of here. We're letting you go. And trying to find a job right now, like in the Christmas season and the New Year's season, It's been a little bit tougher than I expected and I'm broke as fuck. Like I'm having issues putting food on the table. Like I go to this place, which is almost like a Goodwill for food and they sell food at like 80% off and that's the shit I eat. So if you want to be a homie, if you want to help me out with a couple bucks, like I can hit you with a PayPal link on Instagram. I guess that's the best way for me to get money at this point. Um, I am applying to corporate jobs. I think that the things that I've said and done have made it impossible for me to work in paintball. And the industry is definitely dancing on my head. 